So we're gonna jab high, jab low, that overhand right comes. What's up guys, I'm Josh Emmett and you're watching MMA Surge. The first punch we're gonna go over is the left hook. I was able to pull this off against the fight against Ricardo Lamas. All right, so obviously when you're in your stance, the way I set this up is I tried to hit him with the overhand right, which is kind of my specialty. So I threw the overhand right and I missed. And so with this time, since I'm so committed on that, I'm loaded up on the, the left hook. It's loaded up, ready to be fired. So all I did from here is I just turned it over using my hips and my core and just fired that left hook, boom, and connected right on his jaw. And that's what ended the fight. Well, we're gonna take a look at the finish. Talk us through it if you would. So that's uh, Joey Rodriguez boxing at his finest. So one, one tip to really focus on as well, since I miss with that overhand right and I'm coming back with a left hook, he was also coming back with a left hook. So you really wanna make sure that that right hand is glued. We say, put the telephone up to your ear when you come back with that left hook. I messed up and I had my hand down, so I also got hit with the left hook, but my punch was just a little stronger. So now I'm gonna demonstrate the left hook that I hit Ricardo Lamas with. One more tip to think about when you're doing this. I see a lot of people, when they're throwing a left hook, they can't, they're almost like slapping the left hook. They're arming it. You do not wanna do that. You really wanna use your core and your trunk because all the power is being transferred into that punch. And I'm saying, I'm keeping a low base as well. You also, you don't wanna come up high because then you can be countered and you don't have that much power. So here we go. Now we're gonna go over the overhand right. This is my specialty punch, also one of my favorite punches. I don't care who you are, I'm gonna land this on you in 15 minutes. And I was able to pull this off against Michael Johnson when we fought. It, just, uh, it took me a while to get going, you know? Michael Johnson's a veteran. I, I couldn't be reckless in there. So I was just trying to pick my shots. And uh, just like we said, best team in the world. I have Joey Rodriguez, Uriah Faber, Danny Castillo, you know, Chris Holdsworth. So the way I set up my overhand right, is I'm obviously in my fight stance. I'm jabbing high to get their hand up, get their guard up, and then I'm jabbing low to the body. So what this does is it makes them drop their hand so it gives an opening for this overhand right to land. And, and when I throw it, I'm not throwing it like a, a hook. I'm going thumb down and I'm coming at a weird kind of an angle from the top and I'm trying to connect with my, my index and middle finger knuckles. Uh, perfect placement would be on the chin and then you know that's kind of lights out so again I'm in my stance I'm jabbing high to get their guard up jabbing low to drop that guard and then I find my placement for my overhand right on the chin all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw the overhand right watch how I jab high jab low and this is emulating getting the guard up they have to respect that and then once I go to the body their hands will drop and that there's an opening for that overhand right to land. So here we go. So we're gonna jab high, jab low, that overhand right comes. So there's an important tip to keep in mind. When you're, throwing the, when you're throwing your punches, you have to bring your feet. I'm not gonna jab and keep my back foot here and jab low and, and, and then I'm way off balance here. Um, if I were to miss, I, I can't move. There's really nowhere for me to go. So you have to bring your feet. So when I throw the jab, my back foot is coming. So I'm jabbing, I'm taking small steps, small steps. And when I throw that overhand right, my, my back foot is traveling a little. So if you think about it, if I'm gonna step forward an inch with my front foot, my back foot has to follow. Two inches with the front foot, two inches 
with the back foot as well. So always bring your feet as you're punching. So the next power punch we're gonna go over, believe it or not, is the jab. I throw every strike, no matter what it is, with bad intentions behind it, um, whether it's a jab, an overhand right, a left hook, I'm looking to finish the fight. Uh, I was able to drop Mursad Bektik in our fight with a left jab, and then I finished him off with some ground and pound. Good jab. Jab Steps dropped him, that's hard to believe. So with the left jab, a tip to look in mind, you guys, uh, we call these shotgun jabs. So I'm throwing this as hard as I possibly can. And if you throw a jab with 100% speed and you're really trying to hurt the person, they, they have to respect it. Otherwise, they're going to get hit in the mouth and they can be sat down. So one thing to look forward to, when I load up my jab, I'm almost sitting on my back leg. My guard's up. I'm sitting on my back leg, so I'm transferring all the way to my back leg and I'm pushing off the ball of my foot, almost like you would in a track start, you know, to a sprint. So I'm sitting back and now I'm driving off that back ball of my foot, coming forward and really putting all my weight into that punch. And you wanna hit your target at the end of your punch too. You don't wanna crowd yourself or you end up hitting someone or a bag, um, like in the middle, cause you have no power behind it. And the same thing, I'm turning my thumb down and still trying to land with those two big knuckles, your index and middle finger knuckle, okay? So we're sitting back, all my weight's on my back leg. I'm driving through the ball of my foot and I'm hitting my target at the end of my punch and then bringing it right back to your face. And you always want your chin down, okay? So you wanna keep that chin down. So when I'm throwing the jab, I'm also hiding behind my shoulder, okay? So if an overhand comes, then I'm protected. Chin is down and it's hiding behind my shoulder and my guard is up here. If not, if you throw a jab like this and your chin in the air, people can hit you with the overhand right or they can hit you with really any punch. You have no protection. So last tip, as I jab, chin is down, I'm jabbing and I'm hiding behind my shoulder, keeping my guard nice and high. And we're always bringing our punch back to our chin. That feels kind of slow. All right, guys, those are my three power punches. I'm Josh Emmett. Thanks for watching MMA Surge.